Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says about Ali, Ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu, he says, Oh Ali radiallahu anhu. Remember, he was one of the greatest of the companions, the top 10. In fact, he was fourth in rank, powerful. He says, Oh Ali, the people will be divided regarding your rank into two. Some will take you very high above your rank and some will drop you very low below your rank. But those who are correct will be neither of the two. They will be the middle path. Those who know exactly what your status is. And this was a miracle of Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wasallam. He had prophesied something that happened later on. Some take him right all the way to Godhood. May Allah protect us. And some drop him and remove him even from the, the fold of Islam. Astaghfirullah. But we are the middle path. We say he was the most honored. We will never utter one bad word about him. Never. We will honor him and his entire family. And we know whenever you say Ali, you must say, May Allah be pleased with him. Radiyallahu anhu. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala be pleased with every one of us. As he was young, he learned how to read and write. So sometimes when revelation used to come through, he used to be called by Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to write it. Please write this down because he could write. So he was known as Katibul Wahi. That was an honor given to him. Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu, one of the 10 who were told you are from paradise. We've been speaking about that the last two days. And mashallah, mashallah, he was one of them. May Allah make us from among those who earn paradise. You know, there is a very, very beautiful incident that occurred that brings a lot of joy to the heart. The day of Khaybar, when the Prophet ﷺ had surrounded a place known as Khaybar and they were going into the fortress, the Prophet ﷺ at a time of war, he made an announcement in the evening. He says, tomorrow I'm going to give the flag to a person whom Allah loves and he loves Allah. So what happened is as the people were sleeping at night, they were all whispering to each other. Who do you think that's going to be? Who do you think that's going to be? Each one hoping it's going to be him. I mean, if you heard that tomorrow we're going to make a big announcement of a person who's won a huge prize, like later on today, we're going to be giving away huge prizes. Subhanallah, you would love that that were you. You would wait, wait for names to be called out, right? The following morning, the Prophet ﷺ says, Aina Ali ibn Abi Talibin. May Allah be pleased with him. Where is Ali? And everyone says, Oh, wow, look at him. He is a person who loves Allah and Allah loves him in return. That's confirmed by the Prophet. ﷺ. So the Prophet ﷺ gave him the flag and told him, Oh, Ali, you are going into this fortress. I make you the leader of the, those who are going in. And I want to tell you my piece of advice. And this was at a time of war. He says, Oh Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu anhu. Wallahi la an yahdi Allahu bika rajulan wahidan khayrul laka min humrin na'am. Wallahi I promise you, Oh Ali. If Allah uses you to guide one person to the straight path, it's better for you than the most valuable of material items of this world. Subhanallah.